Hello, today I want to explain how to install the NIF Connect SDK. NIF Connect SDK is a software developer kit from Nordic Semiconductor for uh, its SOCs, also microcontroller. It supports their own developer kits and also developer kits from other brands and uh, of course you can also use it for your own boards when they are using the NIF um, microcontroller or SOCs. It's available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. As basis is using the real-time operation system Zephyr. As IDE it's using Visual Studio Code and supports for example Bluetooth Low Energy, BLA Mesh, OpenThread and Zigbee. But they have also boards of course for Wi-Fi so it support also Wi-Fi. Um, as basis is using Zephyr as a real-time operation system. Uh, this has a lot of advantages. Uh, first, Zephyr is um, open source. The hardware configuration is that done via a device tree. So we can program our code independent from our microcontroller. Yeah, so we don't have to adjust this uh, every time with the microcontroller. Uh, when we change the microcontroller, we can still use our code. It support multi-threading. Um, they are a driver for a lot of devices and uh, like sensors and so on. You find they are already included drivers. Uh, also it provides many useful software libraries and supports many kind of microcontrollers safe here. Not only the NIF uh, microcontroller from Nordic, also from other brands. NIF Connect SDK has a yeah, a lot of components. First is Git for downloading all the repositories and uh, then a tool which is called VEST. This is because Git doesn't support multiple repositories and there are more repositories so um, the VEST is used and also for flashing the microcontroller. The repositories for example is Safia, uh, the repository for the bootloader for the NIF um, XLIP and OpenThread and so on. So there are really a lot of repositories which are combined. And the toolchain is the ARM um, GCC compiler yeah? uh, and of course with the libraries. So what do we need to install? There are actually three components or three software packages which we have to install. This is the NIF command line tool, the NIF connect for desktop and Visual Studio Code. Yeah, this is the first thing uh, where we are starting is just the NIF command line tool. This is um, that we install the components for the uh, programmer and so on. Yeah, so it's, uh, Jailing programmer used from Sega, it will be also installed with this component. The first thing what we have to do, we have to uh, install the command line tools um, from Nordic. So just search it on Google, command line tools, and go to, to Nordic Semiconductor. Um, there are three versions for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. I explain here the installation process for Windows only as for Linux and Mac OS it's similar but maybe you have to adjust something a little bit uh, and look in the installation guide. So just download it. I'm using here the version 10.23.1. Uh, I already downloaded it and then just install it. These tools are needed for a few command lines. Uh, uh, also for the jailing programmer later. Just install it with the default parameters and wait until it's finished. Yeah. The next step what we are needing are the NIF connect for desktop. Yeah. Also search it again, download it for your um, operation system. I go on Downloads, here it's again Windows 64. I'm using here the version 4.2.1. I already downloaded it and just install it. And in this installation process, it will also ask you 
to install the jailing programmer which is necessary to flash your uh, microcontroller, your SOC. Just click on yes on all and here you're seeing the jailing software set up also install it with the default parameter you see this is a different installation process also with the default parameters And here you're seeing NIF Connect uh, for desktop. Um, there are a lot of uh, applications for playing a lot around a little bit. What's for us important um, is maybe later the programmer when we are using the bootloader for programming a device. Um, but here especially is the toolchain manager. We have to install it. And when this is finished, just open it. And there you will see uh, different kind of tool trains. We are using here the latest one, NIF Connect SDK version 2.4.2. Just go on install. Uh, you can change the settings um, where it's uh, to, uh, the directory where to install. Yeah, I have here the directory NIF Connect SDK on my drive D. Um, make it near to the root of your um, directory. When it's too long, it can get later make pro um, compiler errors. Yeah? Then just install it and this will take a while. Yeah? Um, because there are a lot of repositories which uh, combine and so on. So this process is taking a little bit. With my computer and my internet connection, it took around 20 minutes the installation from the toolchain. And when we're looking in the folder, then we're seeing here's the toolchain folder with the compiler and also a Safia as a um, operation system. Yeah, we have here a Safia and we have here special parts from Nordic libraries, yeah, the NIF libraries, and there is also somewhere uh, open. A thread inside and so on. And uh, the next thing what they are needing is uh, the Visual Studio Code IDE. Yeah, we can directly uh, click here, is standing open VS Code, and it's realized that we don't have it at our computer. Yeah, uh, so we have to download it first. We're searching for VS Code and uh, goes into download directly. There are different versions. Yes, yeah? there is a user, user version. It is installed just in the user lib um, directory. I like more the system installer. It's then in the program um, folder installed and uh, can be used from every user. But then you don't have administration rights. You are using the user inst <coughs> installer instead. So just download it for your operation system for Windows. I mean, for Linux and Mac, it's anyway a little bit different. And uh, I did this already. Just click install. And I installed it with the default parameters. So when the installation process is finished, we don't install it directly. Uh, we have the installation progress. We're starting it over OpenVS code here, but also we have to uh, close it first since you don't know that uh, it's successfully installed. So I start and I have connect for desktop again and go open on open tool chain manager and on open VS code. And there I will see that there are a few extensions missing, um, which we're needing for managing the project and for compiling and so on. And I go on install missing extensions. And when this is done, we're going on open uh, Visual Studio Code. 
and we're seeing here our uh, Visual Studio Code with our extension here. We have here already NIF Connect, so extension button. Yeah, and now we can start with our project. I like actually directly to change the theme. I like more the so lighter theme. So I'm going here, color theme. Um, going here on light theme. And you're seeing here the NIF Connect um, extension. And we are having here a welcome. We're seeing here that we're having our tool chain and the SDK. When we're having multiples, one we can set here the default tool chain. Yeah? And for the first starting, we open an existing project. And uh, not an existing, we are creating a new project and searching for the uh, a copy a sample and searching for the Blinky example. Yeah? Just open it. I have to confirm the location. And um, I'm using here the same location like the toolchain. And I have connect yeah, my project. There are all my projects inside. And there I will build also the project. And I give it a name. Um, my first Blinky. Yeah. And then it's starting, yeah, I trust the author. And then it's starting in the Solution Explorer here, but we're going on NAF Connect again and seeing here our first application, my first Blinky and we have to create a new build configuration. And um, I'm using here for the example here, I'm using the NIF um, 52840DK. Yeah, you can choose here different kinds of board and I just go on build configura configuration. And the first build is done and the whole configuration is there. Then we're getting here our application and we find also our source code here. It's the main file, main C. You're seeing here um, it using the device tree. It's a little bit complicated for the beginning, but it's just setting the TPIO pin with the LED as output and toggle it the whole time and then sleeping um, in every one second. We're having the blink. And here on the left side, we're having uh, the action. We can always build or rebuild um, our uh, project here, especially when we change something in the configurations, then we have to make a pristine build. If not, we can just click on build when we only change something on the main.c file, for example. Then I'm uh, having here my developer kit. Yeah, I just plug it in, so NIF. 52840 developer kit and uh, then I can go here on flash the device. Yeah, um, yeah maybe to say um, here you can make a output the terminal on so that you're seeing what's happening. Yeah, I do it again. I make here the build. Seeing here's the build process. Nothing is done when I change here, for example, find something. Then uh, we're seeing something is happening here again. <coughs> yeah, but I undo it, so if not, we don't have a um, uh, flashing LED. So again, the build, we're seeing here's the output. And then afterwards, I'm clicking on flash. And then we're seeing here also, after the flash is done, the so LED one here, this one, is blinking every second. This was the introduction how to install the NIF Connect uh, SDK and how to use it, how to making the Hello World example, the Blinky example, how to compile it and flash it on our developer board. In the next videos then we'll cover how the device tree and everything is working and how we can program the LED by ourselves. 
So if you like the video, uh, give it a like, a thumb up yeah, and uh, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.